Hello! In this video we're going to go over how you can style your tree view. Uh, so this entails customizing your tree view. Now as you can see we've got our cafe fish example here and you can see that the tree view is quite boring. There's a border around it, you know, it's got boring text like um, you know the default uh, text, default text size, etc. So let's change that. Let's go about changing that. So um, there's two methods of uh, customizing your tree view. You can use the style method or the tag method, both of which um, have benefits. So if you're using the style method, I'll show both in the video. Um, the style method is used when you want to style the um, tree view itself, the internals of the tree view, and also if you want the 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 rows of the um, tree view to have the same style. The tags method um, works on a row basis, so you can customize each row. So um, let's find the tree view where we define our tree view here. Um, where is it? Let's see. Uh, uh, create frame. Where is this tree view? There we go. There's the tree view here. So, um, so we're gonna go through the style method first. So, uh, what we want to do with the style is change the font of the. Uh, so, so this is just an example. So, what I want to do with that tree view is I want to make the 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 um, header, the, the header row bold, and I want to uh, remove the border of the tree view. Um, and I want to modify the font of the body, and the body, when you're talking about the body of the tree view, refers to the, all the rows in the style form of customization. So yeah, let's let's do that. So um, it's always good to comment. So we're gonna say tree view styles, okay? And then we're defining it. Note we're defining it before the tree view, and I'll show you why we do that in a moment. But first we need to say tree style, or you can name it whatever you want equals ttk dot style. Now you will already have ttk imported because you're using a tree view. Um, so this is another uh, class from that. Uh, package. Anyway, so we're gonna continue. I'm gonna say tree style dot configure configure. There we go. And what we're gonna do? So this first bit is going to be modifying the font of the body. So that'll be all the rows. So we're gonna say my style dash tree view. Oh no, sorry, not a dash. A dot dot tree view. Um, and then we're going to put a comma and we're going to say uh, highlight, highlight thickness equals, uh, and I'm going to say zero, the border is going to be zero, and the font is going to be um, uh, let's let's make it um, different to the default. So I think the default is Arial. So we're gonna say Georgia. Um, we're gonna say that it is going to be of size fifteen. Let's go for that. Um, okay. So we've done that. Um, that that a bit there now. What we can do now is we can assign the style uh, to this um, line here. Now this this line is the instantiation of your tree view where you create it. So what we want to do is put in another tag there and say style equals uh, style equals. Now we're not going to say tree style. Instead, we're going to say my style dot tree view. Oh, sorry, this needs to be in a string. Sorry. So it'll be my style dot tree view. Okay, there we go. So now let's run this. And you can see that the body of the tree view has changed. Remember the body is referring to all of the rows. The first, the header row is not included in the body, but you can see that the font has changed. And um, the, uh, 
the size of the font has changed so that's cool that's good so we've done that uh, now we're going to keep editing the style um, and this time we're going to modify the font of the headings um, so we're going to say tree style dot configure now remember we want to make it bold um, so um, that's what we're going to need to do so I'm going to say my style dot tree view and then we're going to have to do a dot heading so this is now referring to we're now uh, customizing the heading of the tree view and uh, we're going to say that the font of this is going to be we're going to stick with Arial um, and we're going to make it size I don't know uh, 13 well, let's make it let's make it 16 why not let's make it 16 to make it bigger and then we're going to say that it's going to be bold so that's how you define bold there um, just by typing that so let's run it now and see what happens there you go you can see that our, our um, tree view has become uh, the header row has become uh, bolder there um, now you can also um, what you can also do is uh, change this from bold to underline um, and then that will obviously underline the the font there. Um, now the italics doesn't work this way. You instead need to use the italic font, so Arial italics, etc. So let's leave that as bold. And then the last thing we want to do is um, see this border, this grey line here around it. Let's remove that. Let's remove that. Let I'll show you how to remove that now. So we want to do tree style dot layout. Okay. Now we're gonna say my style my style dot tree view and then we're going to say that this uh we're gonna to need to refer to the tree area, so um we're going to need to make a list and in this list we'll have this set and then we're going to say that it's going to be oh no not the, not those brackets round brackets say my style oh sorry it needs to be in, in a string my style dot tree view dot uh, tree area okay and then um, we're also going to put a comma there and then we're going to say um, uh, we're going to say that that is going to be sticky. So we're going to say sticky, and then um, sticky, and then north east, south, north south west east, which means that it's going to remove the border there for us, which is quite useful. Um, yeah, so that's that's fine there. It's a little a little bit of a hassle to um, type type out there, and you can see we're using all three different types of bracket there. Um, but anyway, uh, so we should see now that our border is now gone, which is nice. Uh, cool. Okay, so we've now learned how to do styles, uh, the style method for customizing tree views. But now we're going to move on to the tags. Um, so the tags are done on a row uh, per row basis, um, which is the difference between that and the style method. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to stop referencing um, the style in the tree view. So now when we run this, you can see that it's uh, the default. Um, Bear in mind, you can reuse the same style on different tree views. You, all you have to do is reference it using the style keyword. Um, but anyway, uh, let's move on to tags. So tags you define after um, the employee, the, 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 the tree view. So we're going to say tags. So this is where we're going to define our tags. So um, we say employee view, okay, dot tag underscore configure so we're gonna need to name our tags it says tag name there so let's say fry cook okay 
um, is the name of our tag. Uh, let's say that the fry cooks get their name in a special format. So let's do that and we're going to say background. Okay, so this is where we can customize the color of the tree view. Um, uh, so, and this will change the color of the row. I don't know if you can, I probably can change the color of the tinter of the, of the tree view um, using the style method, but I've not come across how to do that yet. But anyway, uh, we'll continue using this. Um, I'm going to say the background color is Misty Rose, and we're going to say that the um, font should be Georgia. Um, and with a font size of 10. So now when we run this, nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Well, it's because we've not actually assigned the tag to the row. Um, so we need to do that when we're inserting our tag, our row into the tree view. And we do that in our update function. Now, you, we have, hold on, we need to find it. Uh, there it is there right so by update function I refer to wherever you have the dot insert method here um, is your update function so um, so in this function I'll briefly explain it um, we select we get the data from the database and we essentially insert it here into here so in, into into this into the view, employee view so um, Yes, we're getting the first name, second name, gender, job type, and hourly wage. So we're going to do our tags by job type. Um, okay, so if I just type, uh, so in the insert statement, we can say tags equals, and then we can just hard code the word fry cook in there, which means that when we run it, yes, we get our different row. But if I create, say, uh, a different person, and say that she's a register worker and she earns five pounds a week creator and go back she also gets the the new tag format even though her job type is not fry cook that's because we've hard coded the word the tag fry cook into this insert statement so every single row being inserted will have that so we need to change that um so um we do that by using this, the data we already have. We already know the job type, so we, all we need to do is reference, I'll just put the job type in there, because this accepts a string. So uh, I'll show you what I mean. So if we have, so zero, one, two, three, so it's the fourth element in the uh, a list, um, so it's gonna be index three, so we're gonna say I, square bracket three, there we go. So now when we run it, um, the fry cook gets his tag, but the register person doesn't because, of course, register the register job type doesn't have a tag yet. So let's change that. Let's let's add um, let's add another tag. So let's we'll copy this right. We'll copy it and then we'll say that the uh, register worker will have a uh, light blue background and her font will be Comic Sans MS. Let's say, let's say that. And then when we run it, we can see that the, that, that works, that the, um, that the register person has this new font. Note we can't change the uh, header row using tags. Um, we have to use the style uh, method in order to change the header row. So um, a good good way of customizing it would be uh, using a combination of these techniques in order to fully customize the tree view. Uh, if we try another one, let's say employee view dot tag underscore configure, and I'm gonna say that the waiter people oh sorry that's in caps waiter uh the background equals um yellow and the font should be let's just do Arial Arial um and then ten uh okay and I'm also going to do a print statement just here to show you the what, what we're getting as the I free values here. So when we run this here we can see that that fry cook and register 
are both uh, inserted into the tags bit and since we have valid tags for that um, that they will be styled according to the tag um, tags plural here because you can have you can have multiple um, you can ra simply wrap this in a in a tuple and then you can keep going but um, that's why it's plural but for this demonstration we're just going to use um, one tag for each thing and then uh, if I create uh, a waiter let's say um, Daniel Frost is going to be male and he's going to be a waiter and he's going to have four pounds and we create then we can see that our new list here is here so fry cook register waiter and if we go back you can see that the Arial font is used and um, the color is changed as well um, so yeah that, that's essentially how you style uh, tree view so what I would do what I would recommend is style the the body using tags and then um, style if, if you want to have unique rows and then style the um, tree view itself using the style method where you can edit the header row. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.